Welcome to Media 3.0. I'm Shelley Palmer, Chairman of the Advanced Media Committee and First Vice President of the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences New York. Our focus at Media 3.0 is on the businesses of technology, media, and entertainment and how they interact and how they affect our lives. On today's show, we're going to take a look at high-definition television. That's HDTV. It may be considered a new technology, but it's really been around for over 20 years. Is it finally here to stay? So let's get right to it and say hello to Lydia Loisides. So the study that shows HDTV as like being half hooked up wrong, what's that about? Who well, I think part of the problem is it's, it's pretty obvious. You know, uh, consumer electronics, the Sonys, the Toshibas of the world have done a really bad job of educating the consumer about what HD is. Uh, CBS and ABC will tell you you can watch it in HD, but what does that mean? Um, you know, you have a whole Yeah, half that study was 23-something percent of the people didn't even know. when they said, this program brought to you in high definition, they, they thought they were watching high definition, even at though... At that moment. Right, right, right. That so second. that's part yeah. of the problem. So, you know, you have this whole massive consumer base watching television. They've been watching television since the day they were born, and now all of a sudden we're telling them they watch it in HD, and they're thinking, okay, I'm watching it in HD, but they're not. That's crazy. We have some research? We have some research. Let's look. It's sharper. It's wider. It has digital audio. It looks more like a movie than a TV set. Welcome to HDTV, high definition television. HDTV pictures are much higher quality than standard television pictures because the screen displays more than twice the number of lines of resolution. But technology doesn't tell the whole story. Consumers are confused. HDTV? Well, I was informed about it. Very confused. I'm pretty sure it has a lot of gadgets and probably things to go with it to make it a high definition television. In fact, even the HDTV salespeople don't have it quite right. Plasma is a high definition. They, they work with different processes. And an LCD screen lasts a little bit longer, has a different um, cooling format. Cooling format? According to the Consumer Electronics Association, about 10.6 million HD ready TV sets have been sold since 1998. To see an HD picture, your set must be properly hooked up to a digital antenna, cable, or satellite system that offers HD. Then you only see HD picture quality on the HD channels. Everything else you watch, even on an HD set, will still be standard definition. Sound complicated? It must be. Because according to a recent study by Lightman Research, 56% of HDTVs in America are not properly installed, and the owners of these sets don't even know it. 23% say that the picture on their new flat screen looks better. And 26% think that when a program announces that it's broadcast in HD, they are automatically watching an HDTV show. How is this consumer confusion affecting sales? They seem to be asking for larger and larger screen sizes. Uh, and of course, they ask, typically ask for the major brands. They're all looking for a Sony, a Panasonic, uh, and today Samsung became a major player. The industry is clearly transitioning from old-fashioned TV sets with tubes to sexy new HD-ready flat panels. Prices are trending down and screen sizes are trending up. So, HD, ready or not, here it comes. I'm Shelley Palmer. We'll see you next time.